All right, welcome to the Fantasy Six Pack Fantasy Baseball Cheat Sheet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the Points League Draft Cheat Sheet. If you want to get access to these, you can go to fantasysixpack.net slash plans and sign up to become an all-access member. Before you do that, though, go over to our Twitter, at Fantasy Six Pack, and look for a promo code. There's likely one sitting up there on our pinned one of our pinned uh, tweets. If not, DM myself at fantasy six pack underscore Joe. And um, we probably got one available for you to use uh, in order to be able to get access to these for a little bit cheaper than the, uh, than the, the full price. But uh, let's jump into it and, and walk you through how to utilize the, the cheat sheet. So when you first jump into the file, you're going to get taken to the instructions page. And I know I'm walking you through this right now, but it's very important to read all of this. It will go into a little bit more detail than what I can do here and even on the article that I wrote on the website to kind of walk you through these. Um, but this tells you how to sort and filter and how we deal with Otani, which is we left him as two different players because every site's a little bit different with him and every league is different with him. And it just was easier to leave him as a hitter and a pitcher and let you kind of handle how you want to do it. His projections are still really good either way, but uh, that was just the way we did it. So the setup page is where you need to go to next. Do not use the cheat sheet without going to the setup page first. Uh, it will give you incorrect data. I almost guarantee it. So when you go here, though, the first thing it's going to ask you is the site that you're playing on. And so we have it, we have some default values for the category point values that are, that each site uses. We also preload ADP data and position eligibility data, which is very important for kind of guiding you through a draft. You know, every league, every site is different with position eligibility for certain players. Uh, ADP is always different across all the different sites. Uh, so it's important to kind of know all of that information as you're going through your draft. So you don't draft somebody four rounds ahead of time or miss somebody because you didn't think their ADP should be where it was, but it really was. Um, or you thought they were going to have third base eligibility, but they really don't on that site. So that being said, I'm just going to show you this real quick. So right now it is defaulted to NFBC. You see the point values here below. If I just switch it to fan tracks, it changes slightly. If I change it to CBS, it changes even more. I'm going to go back to NFBC just for the sake of this tutorial. And then we're going to jump into the cheat sheet. So when you jump over here to the cheat sheet, you're going to see name, team, projected score, and position. Fairly self-explanatory, I think. Projected score is just the calculations of our projections based off of the formula with the category point values that you set up in the setup screen. The position comes from the, the site that you're using. Undrafted players projection rank. Right now, it looks pretty, pretty simple. One through however many players. I believe it's over 1,000. This will change. So like if I were to get rid of Alvarez, if he was drafted first, you, you, would, you would see Tucker and Alonzo and everybody else move up one because they are now the eighth and ninth and tenth players undrafted because Alvarez was the eighth. So everybody kind of moves up. The ADP, same thing. So that ADP is pulled from the NFBC site and updated pretty regularly on here. The ADP rank is works the same as the undrafted player projection rank. So it will update as you take people off the board. The meat of this comes from the value fields. So yes, you see the point scores here, but your overall hitter and pitcher values are the value of that player in comparison to the rest of the players on the board. So overall is hitters and pitchers combined. Hitters is just hitters and pitchers is just pitchers. So Aaron Judge, as of right now, is the most valuable overall player on the board from a total point standpoint. Garrett Cole, according to the projections, is the most is the most valuable pitcher on the board by quite a large margin, I might say. So, you know, is there a case to draft him super early? According to the projections, yes. Um, 
So we go from there, but let me show you how this works as you're drafting through uh, your, your, your league here and what you should do. So I'm just going to go through the ADP here and Ronald Acuna is the number one player taken off the board at this moment on NFBC. And so I'm going to right click his name because he got drafted, uh, uh, right click the row number and hit delete. And so when I do this, pay attention to the values. The values are going to change all across the spreadsheet. So it's going to update and say, okay, now here are the new values for all the players that are available to draft because Ronald Acuna is no longer available. So everybody's values in comparison to the rest of the player pool changes because you've removed a player. And so you did. You see everybody's value change ever so slightly. Um, and so <clears throat> this is important because you can then start seeing where, you know, there's gaps in player value. So like, you know, we already see one here with between the two pitchers, uh, but you start seeing gaps in player values here. So like, this is actually a fairly large gap just between Mookie Betts and Trey Turner, as far as just pure hitter values only. So like once you, you know, once you start seeing like there, there's being large gaps and these gaps will get larger and larger as the draft goes on too. Uh, so that's in the beginning, all these players are really good. And so like, it's not going to look like a whole lot up at the very top here, but as the draft goes on, that's when you really start making a difference and you start noticing player values really becoming different. Um, the other thing you're going to notice, and again, I said this was going to happen, right? We got rid of Acuna, and I believe he was the sixth player. Uh, it looks like Guerrero and Cole are tied for points, so they they tied with five. But um, the ADP rank um, should have updated, but I don't I – don't, because there's two fives, it's a little bit weird. But um, let's just get rid of Freeman, and, and I'll show you. So now they both go to four. And then there's six, seven, eight. So like that changes the ADP rank changes. Now the actual ADP does not change, but the ADP rank does change. And you can filter and sort by any one of these these columns. I always suggest that you go back to projected score, largest to smallest. Once you filter by something else or sort by something else, that is the way to go. Um, where filtering becomes most important is in positions. And that is later on in the draft, if you really need to fill your second base position, you would click on the little down arrow underneath the position name in the search, just type 2B for second base, hit OK, and it's going to show everybody who has second base position eligibility. To get rid of that, you click back down on that arrow and just click clear filter. One thing I did forget to show you, and that's on the setup screen, you can change these point values for your customized points leagues. Uh, none of my points leagues use the default values outside of the NFBC uh, drafts that I'm in. But uh, if you do change these values, the defaults will no longer work. If you try to switch back to one of the defaults, you will need to re-download the 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 cheat sheet from our site which is easy to do you have unlimited downloads for these so that's the way to do it but um yeah so again if you have any questions you can hit us up on twitter you can hit us up on our contact form on the site fantasy six pack.net and good luck this season again fantasy six pack.net slash plans to become an all access member to gain access to these see ya